today this will be my last tour of Summerflower because I've finally completed it at last so the idea is, is that I'm going to do like you know maybe like a quick iron tour today just so you can see what my iron has to offer but sadly I was going to put like um, some outfits outside when I, when I did my dream address but I, couldn't, I didn't have the time so what I recommend doing is like you know go ahead sure you get dressed up before you like you know dream my island or something like that so you don't have to worry about it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the dream address very quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the map and here you go so my dream address is down there so it's D A seventy four twenty six seven six six one three one seven nine so that's the dream address so what i recommend doing if you want to pause the video i recommend it because if you want to get the dream address it'll be easier or you can check the description so i will link my dream address down there for you just in case so if you want to know what villages and and, and residents on this island so you've got me round leg fred winnie Stu, goldie molly shino stella egbert punchy Ketchup and Maggie, so they're, they're all my 10 residents I've got on this island. So, so let's, let's do my tour, shall we? So, let's just do it. But the only thing you need to probably notice is that I've got I've still got a 2022 um, arch still up, but that's the only thing that's probably going to stay there for now. We haven't got a 2023 arch this year, have we? So, you know what I mean? So, over here, we've kind of got all the residents house a lot of like you know, flowers and even some fields, as you can see. Look at all these fields that I've that we've got here and plus I've also used tractors and also like some patches and that stuff and over here is quite new because over there is actually my little um, tomato patch over there so you can go and see what that's all about and also I put like some little seat in there in case you want to take some breaks when you try to do this iron for for example so that's why I've done that for events and also I have made like a few orchards as you can see, I've used a lot of different fruits as well, so I've got two bridges, this one is the farmer's market because I was really thinking to myself, well this build did take me a long time to do, but I know that I've already made like a half build in it on YouTube already, but you haven't seen the whole build, so what I've done is I've also decorated the beaches as well as you can see, so if you want to like you know chill out you can, and plus you can also sit down and eat some snacks and that stuff and even play this little beach ball that I've also got here. I also put some lights and I put some stuff like that. But I've also set this in the morning time so I thought why not because I quite like, like my phone call on in the morning time so that's what I've done with it. So yeah this is what I've got for my little beach area. So up here is kind of more like the forest market but what I've used, I've used gnomes as you know people that are sitting here and having their like you know picnic or something. Or breakfast whatever but you know what I mean and also what I've got over here is like it's kind of like a different sort of like maybe whoever owns the farmers market will be sitting right there I think and plus you've got the little CNH um Nintendo switch you've got a Nintendo switch light and also a Nintendo switch and also you've got the little leaf thing as well so I think there's a lot of stuff that I've used and plus I could also call this dry wood beach boy because I've, I've literally left some dry woods out for you just to be on the safe side so I thought why not add some texture to my beaches also I've got like a little little rubber ring over there and a little lounge chair and also I've got a little sandcastle and I've also got these two little stands here as well to make it look very good because I over here you know who we have we have cabins so I thought I was not going to decorate that bit because I feel like it was a bit of a waste of time so I thought I'll just leave it so I can get to cabin easily so that's what I've done because some people do actually do decorate the decks all the time but over here I've got some like you know music bits over here and some flowers so I think over here I want to show you something so behind all this if I can get to, no I don't think I can get there so I mean, it is quite cramped over here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to places, so I'm going to have to go all the way around again. That's that's kind of pointless, but in a way, I, I quite like how this build turned out in the end. I was working probably hard on it. Mind you, I only saw the half build of it, really. But obviously, behind here, we've got like a little flower bit over here as well. So if I go over to this little area, this is where my little tomato field is, and as you can see. It's kind of like cooled off, but you can't get to it. But at least you get to see it from there. I thought, why not make it really stick with some tomatoes and that stuff. But as you come through here, 
there's a little secret area. Mind you, I don't think you can see it from that food because what I've done is I've tried to disguise it with the trees, which is kind of my idea. Mind you, you're not going to see it from there, are you? Hmm. You know what I might need to do? I might need to use and then use the the handheld camera. I think the handheld camera is going to work. There you go. And look, you got your own little little cave. I thought that looked quite realistic. And also, what I did is also put like a little some little like gold mining carts around here too so you've got something else to explore which i thought was quite a good idea of me so what i've done is i've camouflaged with the tree so you can't find it so you have to go closer and use your handheld mode and that stuff and that's what it looks like so it looks pretty good doesn't it and also this is kind of like the orchard bit over here as well so we're gonna do it i'm gonna literally tour the other side so i've not done the cliffs so i thought well it's, i was thinking maybe not because i quite like the the bottom layer because i've worked very hard on it so that's what i'm doing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to you know cut through a lot of times when i'm doing this little quick iron tour of mine quickly obviously my house has also been decorated and that stuff but you can probably go and visit inside it was never mind because it's it's not really like that, that that big you can just go and visit as you like also got a few villages and also got the nook's cranny but what i've done over here is i mean like a little another little market spot if you want to like get some items as well and plus what i've done is i conned off punchy's house a little bit because it's getting i feel like it needs some like decorations and some decorations and that stuff so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna show you off where where Ketchup's Juicy Kitchen is, which is right over here, basically. So you can definitely visit this if you want to. It's like, I think it's like open 24 7 if need be. So you can definitely come visit this when you dream of my island, Sunflower. And plus, I feel like it's definitely been completed very well. So I've used a few bills, even though I didn't decorate that beach over there, but I managed to decorate the rest of my island and that stuff. I didn't do the cliffs either, but I was thinking, well, at the same time, when it comes to farm court irons, they don't have to be like you know fully decorated. So I thought, why not just you know finish off my irons and that stuff to show it to you guys today? So yeah, I feel like my irons turned out pretty good, really, hasn't it? So what I'll probably do is is that even though we're now in 2023, basically, it's going to be like you know different tell to tell. But I want to do tour of my island probably. I'm going to be quite you know intrigued. I'll be checking like you know you should just see who's be touring my irons soon. Who knows? Make sure to get a like on the screen if you need my channel and see more of my content. Please subscribe to a variety of content you might enjoy my involved Animal Crossing content me Miitopia content. What I'm going to be doing for tomorrow is I'm going to be getting my, you know, Miitopia Let's Play series cracking on again. So I've not done that for a while. But obviously, because it's the new year, I thought, why not try and finish it off? Because one of my goals on YouTube it is, is that I'll be to finish off my Miitopia Let's Play series. Or to put, play Pokemon Scarlet at some point. So, who knows? But I know it's going to be quite a long one because apparently sometimes the let's plays and walkthroughs tend to take a little bit longer but who knows what we're gonna probably do with that but again i can't wait to you know finish off my Metopia let's play series this year and see what happens eh so turn my vacation for animal crossing and Metopia content videos of the father and crossing i'll see you next one so bye